This is Julia Child. Bon appétit. Julia's first experience on television was really a book report. She was asked to speak on uh, public television in Boston about uh, her new book, Mastering the Art of French Cooking, Volume 1. And as she thought about it, she thought, well, this would be boring if it's just me there talking about it. Um, as a teacher, she demonstrates, she's used to showing people how it's done. This was really the beginning of her career um, in television. Julia reinvented what public television was at that time. But on her television shows, she followed her own principles. Uh, the first principle being, above all, have a good time. Um, enjoy it. Have a wonderful time in the kitchen. And if you make mistakes, you can recover from them. This is the kitchen where Julia Child uh, cooked for her family and friends, where she taught many people how to cook. This is the kitchen where she preferred to have guests. She's a self-described gadget freak, pot and pan freak, a knife freak. Uh, Julia never met a knife she didn't love, although she would also tell you that you really only need three knives. She also had a number of tools and utensils and appliances that she was really quite crazy about. She was an early adapter of, of new technologies. Uh, she wasn't particularly fond of the microwave as, as a new tool. What she loved was tools that made her job easier and, and more accessible. So many people were influenced by her. We get told over and over in the kitchen that she changed their lives. They saw her when they were younger. Um, she mentored so many of them, actually personally. She actually made uh, cooking respectable. And, and before, uh, chefs and cooks did not have that reputation at all, not here in America. You know, everybody uh, credits Julia with teaching French cuisine to, to Americans, and certainly that was how she began. It was what she valued. It was where, it was where she fell in love with food. But what she really fell in love with, and she always would say it to people, was beautiful food, beautifully prepared. Hi, this is Julia Child with a tip on making these little thin French pancakes called crepes. Easy to make and so versatile. Batter, very simple. One cup of flour. I use instant blending, which I think is good because it does blend instantly. There's two-thirds cup of milk, two-thirds cup of water, three whole eggs, and a good pinch of salt, and three tablespoons of melted butter. And just beat that all up until it's nicely blended and then let it rest for 10 minutes. I like to use a no-stick pan and heat it until water dances on it, then it's hot enough. And in goes your batter, turning the pan all around and then let it heat for about 45 seconds. There, when it's brown on that underside, you just flip it over and cook it about 15 seconds on the other side, and that's all there is to it. This is Julia Child. Bon appétit. She taught Americans to value the experience of cooking, to value the experience of the kitchen, to value the pleasures of the table. And that's what we had been lacking with our development in the 50s of frozen food and fast food and food that required no preparation whatsoever. She returned us to the kitchen, and I, that was... That was part of Julia's genius.